What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here and welcome back to another unboxing video. I'm really doing my best to try to post daily, so uh, I wanted to open this box. In this video, we're going to be unboxing, I actually don't really know what this is. It's something from Boom Loot. It was shipped on December 17th and I think it might be the Boom Loot something exclusives volume 7. I don't really understand how to like read their abbreviations, but that's what I'm going to go with. So, uh, I guess we can go ahead and open it. I guess I could look through my email. I'm sure I could find something about this. Let's see. I'll just look really quick. Oh, here we go. Uh, something from the 17th. Boom Loot Vault of Vaulted. I thought it was value. Vaulted and Exclusive Volume 7 Mystery Boom Box Set of 2. So these got shipped on the 17th of December and oh my gosh, these were expensive. What the heck? Okay, so I got two of these. They must have been around $50 each, $49.99 probably. I had to pay $10.12 for shipping, $7.25 for tax, and I paid a total of $117.35. Wow. Future Steph is thinking to pass Steph going, what were you doing? What on earth? Um, it's not as abnormal for me, but I am in the process of trying to save money. So I've been trying to be smarter about my purchases. Anyways, after shipping and tax, each of these boxes cost around $58.67. So we're gonna say $59, which is quite expensive. I would say probably a more realistic price point is $55. That would be the price of the box plus shipping. So anywhere from $55 to $59. Um, if you're interested in getting anything from Boom Loot, from what I've noticed, they tend to release mystery boxes on Monday afternoon slash evening. So I would follow them on Instagram because that's how I kind of know when they're releasing mystery boxes is I follow them on Instagram. Okay, so we have our two in here and each one ha comes with two pops. Now I am, I guess I could look up what we potentially could get. And I'm actually gonna pause this video so I could take a picture. Okay, I took my pictures. So we have our two uh, mystery boxes, two pop, it looks like I got two pops for each one. And then I'm just gonna go really quick to Boom Loot's website just to see what they've got going on. So Vaulted and Exclusive Volume 7. Uh, let's see, okay. So, let's just uh, each one's okay. So they had basically A and B, and it says that you're gonna get one from each. There was only 16 available. Oh, there's only 16 available and I got two of them. So that's interesting. So I really got this because in their A column, they had um, the green sour patch, which I think is probably the one that I'm going for the most, but they also had the Chester Cheetah from the Funko Hollywood store unbox uh, opening. So I, those are like the two that I'm really going for. In column B, column B is kind of whatever. They have Korg, which I like. They have another Rainbow Bigfoot. They have a Freddy Funko. Um, they have the, the gold Michael Jordan. I don't know if there's anything that I'm fully like, oh, I really want that. But if we got any Freddy Funkos, I'd be excited. So I'm going for, in column A, I'm going for the Green Sour Patch or the Chester Cheeto. Cheater, Chester Cheetah, sorry. And for column B, I'm going for Korg and Freddy Funko. Let's see if we get lucky. So it's pretty cool. You can check out their Instagram for their picture. But it's pretty cool that they only had 16 because, I mean, my chances are basically 1 in 16. All right, let's do it. I'm pretty excited for this, you guys, actually. I'm, like, really excited. Okay, I'm going to cut the back tape first, oh. and then we need to cut the sticker in half. All right, so box number one. Um, I always do the left side first, so we'll do this side. I don't know if that means it's going to be from A, but we'll keep our fingers crossed. How do these boxes open like this? Okay, here we go. Pop number one. I'm going to show you guys. I'm not going to look. There are some pretty good pulls on here, so I feel like no matter what, it's gonna be okay. It's, it'll be decent, but what did I get? I need to be 
careful because it's not in a pot protector. <gasps> you guys, I'm so flipping excited right now. <gasps> oh my god, I forgot what it feels like to win on a mystery box. <sighs> I need to put a pot protector on this, by the way. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. So we got Chester Cheetah. Yes, this is the, oh my gosh, this is the Funko Hollywood exclusive. So Funko just recently opened their Hollywood store in LA and this was one of the exclusives that they had. Oh my God, look how cool, look how dope this is. This is dope. This is dope sauce. He's holding a bag of Cheetos in his hand. How flippin' cool is that? Whew. I thought for some reason he was gonna be flocked but it's okay, I don't even care that he's not because this is such a dope pop. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yes, 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 yes. Whew, okay. I hope that, I mean, I'm excited because I feel like no matter what now I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be satisfied, but. Okay, so that was from the A column. What was in the B column? What was I going for? Freddie Funko or Korg? I'm gonna die, you guys. I, I can't, okay. Whew. Oh my God, that kind of hurt my heart. Okay, box number two, here we go. What do we get? What did we get? Okay, so <laughs> I think I have this pop actually. So in box number two, we got, uh, or box, the second box of the first box, we got a Chase variant of the Punisher. The Punisher has been one of those things. I remember when I first started unboxing subscription boxes, I kept getting Punisher items. And I didn't know anything about the Punisher. Still don't really know. I just now, I really know his logo because I have so many things that have his logo. Um, I think what makes this a Chase is that the normal one is him holding like a giant gun thing, rifle thing, and in this one he's holding a bag and just a handgun in his hand, I guess. <laughs> yep, that was a very good explanation by me. Very detailed. Okay, so that one's cool. Not as cool as uh, Chester Cheetah though, but anyways, I'm so excited still about the Chester Cheetah. Okay, so this is box number two. Let's go ahead and cut the tape on the back, tape on the front. All right, we're gonna open the left box first. So this will be from the A side, and the other pop that I really wanted from the A side is the green Sour Patch Kid. So I think that's the one that I would like. There's a few other ones, but I think that's, I honestly, every time I see the green Sour Patch Kid in anything, I'm like, I'm gonna get that box, because that's what I want. Okay, ready? What is it? There were some other good ones in there, but obviously the ones that I just personally wanted. Oh, okay, so we have, we did not get the Green Sour Patch Kid, that's okay. That would have been really, really lucky. Um, we have Mia Wallace from Pulp Fiction. Now this pop, I'll be honest, is not in the best condition. It's got, it looks older. Um, but there's definitely some damage to the box. It's just a little bit raggedy like you can just tell the edges are not as clean So I don't know how old this pop is um, I'm assuming it must be some kind of vaulted pop because it looks like a common. It's not an exclusive to anything But it's probably hard to come by and it looks older eh, I think it's from 2015 so not that old um, Okay, so that's that one I think that that's probably from the A side. I feel like why wouldn't they put, let's see. Yes, so that one was from the A side. So let's see, the B side, I still have hope that we might get, I don't even know what Freddy Funko this is, but, or Korg. Freddy Funko or Korg. Actually, there's a cool Batman too. And there's a cool Peter Pan. There's some few, there's a few good ones, but I'll take the Korg or the Freddy Funko. I think the Freddy Funko is the one that I'd probably want the most. All right, you guys ready? Let's open this box up. Oh gosh, mystery boxes, man. They really just mess with you. Okay, can't open it. Okay, here we go, ready? All right, so this is box number two of our second box. 
or I, should, I guess we could say B. It's B of two, box number two. so I can't scream, but I'm so excited right now. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. I might actually have this pop. I don't think I do. I don't think I do, but it looks very familiar, but I don't think I do. I, this was the only Freddy Funko that was available in column B. You couldn't really tell what he was, but I just could tell that he was Freddy Funko right here. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. It's basically like an astronaut Freddy. I don't know what this is based off of. It's based off of, I'm sure, something that I'm not picking up the reference to. I love his helmet. He's got his space helmet on. I love that. Um, oh my gosh, you guys. Ah, this is like the best mystery box ever. I have actually had pretty good, uh, pretty good luck with boom loot, but this one was almost like you're almost guaranteed. I mean, see, there was only 16 boxes, so it's not like, you know, there was 500 boxes and I got like, there's only 16. So, um, the chances were decent to get you know, some of those I wanted, but I, oh my gosh, I am so excited, you guys. Yes! 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 Okay, so let's do a quick game. I'm really excited. I I would have died if this pop and this pop have come in the same grouping. I would have died. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you. But let's go ahead and play a really quick game of the pop is right. We're just going to do a really quick status. I don't know if the pops in category A were in theory worth more than the pops in category B. I'm going to say yes, just based off the pops that they had and looking at it, but I don't know that for a fact. Um, so if I had to kind of price these out, I would say I'm going to actually keep them in a, in a, tr in a square, but we'll do, uh, cheapest to second cheapest to third cheapest and then the fourth most expensive. <laughs> I explained that weird. So I'm going to say that I think the Punisher is probably the cheapest out of all of these. I, uh, I guess, I think I'm gonna go with this. Can you guys even see it? Sorry, it's kind of far away. Okay, this is not a good idea. Okay, this was a terrible idea. Hold on one second. What am I doing? Let me move this blanket. Oh gosh, I'm throwing <gasps> Gosh, you guys, I knew that wasn't a good idea. I think we survived it. I think we survived it. That was, see, what, when you know something's not a good idea, you should just stop right away. This pop was already not in great condition anyway, so I'm not that worried about that one. Ah, Chester, are you okay, Chester? Jeez, okay. I knew that was not a good idea. I was like literally telling myself like not a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna assume that this one's probably, just randomly I feel like this one's gonna be worth the most just because it's old. It's not an exclusive to anything. It's just old. And then I'm gonna go with the Punisher's the cheapest. So I'm gonna go Punisher and then Freddy Funko, then Chester Cheetah, and then Mia Wallace. So I'm like mad that I let those pops drop on the floor. That was so dumb. Gosh, okay. Let's go ahead and check our values and see what we got. And I'm also gonna open up my calculator app to see if we hit our values. So here we go. The first pop that we're gonna look at is the Punisher. What? He's only worth $8. Wait, that's definitely not the chase. Let me, let me, I wonder if somebody redid this box then and just put a chase sticker on it because Punisher. When I looked it up, it gave me the regular one. Let's see. Okay, the chase is worth $27. That's kind of a lot. I didn't think that was going to be worth that much. Okay, so $27. Everyone remember that. <laughs> Freddy Funko. Oh, gosh, you guys. I don't know if Freddy Funko is going to be worth more than $27. I already messed that up. Okay, Freddy Funko with Ray Gun is worth $19. So I already messed it up because... Obviously, the Punisher was worth more. You just never know sometimes with the chases, like what the value is going to be. Sometimes chases hold a lot of value, and sometimes they don't. So, anyways, okay, Chesta, 
Cheetah. I always want to call him Chesta, but it's Chester. Chester Cheetah. Let's see what he's worth. Okay, he's going for $37. And then let's take a look at this Pulp Fiction Pop, which I really have no idea about. Wow, she's going for $65. Now, again, she does have quite a bit of damage. She's definitely not a mint condition pop. It's just, you can just tell that she has, she has aged a little bit. But $65, that's pretty good. This is from 2013. So I thought that when you looked at these stickers on the bottom, you could tell the year based off this thing, but I guess not. Um, this is from 2013. That's quite old. That makes sense. It is vaulted. Um, so $65. So with the total of all four of these pops, we have a total value of $148. Um, I in total paid... One hundred and seventeen dollars and thirty-five cents. So we'll say one hundred and seventeen, which means we got thirty-one dollars worth of extra value. So first of all, honestly, even if we didn't get any extra value, I think this would have already been a win for me because I got two pops that I really wanted out of the four, and so I'm really happy with these two. Really, really happy with this one. I would have died if we would have gotten the green sour patch kid, but I'm super happy with that. And then. I enjoy obviously the value of this one. I'm gonna put it in a pop protector, but it's, like I said, it's already pretty like medium grade. And then I'm surprised by the Punisher pop actually. I didn't think it was gonna be worth that much for some reason, but, so I was pleasantly surprised about that. Um, guys, I'm excited. That was a great mystery box unboxing. Um, yeah, that's that's it. That's all I have. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this a W though. We gotta win, we gotta win, yeah. So excited. Uh, I'm really excited about this one though. I really wanted to try to get my hands on a pop from the Funko Hollywood um, opening and this was one of the main ones that I wanted. So I'm totally down for that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you wanna see more boxing videos, go and check my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below, did anyone else, I mean there was only 16 of them, so did anybody who's watching um, get any more of these. I actually totally, I mean, I know I said that was really expensive and they were, I would have been down to buy maybe one or two more. Like that's a pretty good odd. I guess I should just go and buy the green Sour Patch Kid on my own, but that's a pretty good odd. Like to get it, one in 16 is great. And I had two in 16, which means I had one in eight chances of getting pops that I wanted, which was nice. Um, but yeah, did anyone else get this pop box, this boom loot? faulted seven episode seven volume seven box and if so what did you get um, did anyone get the green sour patch kit did anyone get the cord let me know down below don't forget if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or sent to private you will make it on to my thank you to subscribers page which is coming up shortly before we go we must do the video shout out this camera only films for 16 minutes and then it shuts off Luckily, I saw it. Uh, today's video shout out is gonna go to... I'm gonna give today's video shout out to Richard Hoganson. Richard Hoganson, you're getting the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. I appreciate all of your support, and I want to give you the video shout out. So, shout out to you, Richard Hoganson. Shout out to you. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.